Hello, everyone. Ah, well, I worked today. I had a regular day of work. I ended up with three different assignments all over town. Um, and uh, it was like a regular day at work. It just so happened that I got these last minute assignments and I was working today like a regular person, which just almost felt weird because <laughs> I've not got accustomed to working this much. Um, an upside, though, is that because of the coronavirus, normally I'm in a suit and tie, and um, but because I'm going into people's homes with CPS cases... Um, and you're not sure how clean the environments are or how sanitized, even though masked and all of that. Uh, I wore clothes that I can easily wash afterwards. So uh, even though I worked today, the only thing that wasn't quite normal is I didn't have to don a suit and tie like I always do, where I look very professional and very look good. Uh, so I can, I'm enjoying actually dressing somewhat casual for it. I do miss have wearing the suit every now and then because it just, I don't know, it gives me a, a sense of, I don't know, officialdom, like purpose in a way but at the same time it's kind of nice to be able to wear tennis shoes and khakis and just a button-down shirt for work uh so i don't have to quaff as much and uh you know since i wear a mask that covers my face being scruffy is okay so because the mask covers it but um uh, i did get to work on a like a regular work day and i'm actually a little tired because I work today. I'm just like, wow. I mean, considering tomorrow I have no assignments and yesterday I had zero assignments. Well, I had an assignment that got canceled. So I had zero assignments yesterday, zero assignments tomorrow. And then I only had one assignment Monday and one assignment Tuesday. Eh, not much work this week. But today is that it ended up being as it was a regular day of work. <clears throat> the beast behind me who you can hear chewing on her rawhide bone was not thrilled with me because I was gone for so long. One fun thing is that I did get to, because I had a gap between two assignments and I was near my mom's neighborhood, I called her up and I said, let's do lunch. She had already eaten, but I sent her a patty, got to visit with her and had um, lunch, had Chipotle. I haven't been to Chipotle in ages. Uh, the quality of the food had really gone down and so I kind of quit eating there because it just wasn't very good anymore, but it was delicious. You go Chipotle. It was back to like the Chipotle I used to know. So they're doing something right. I really liked how they processed you through the store because it was obviously only to go, but they had these dots on the floor where everybody stood and you just kind of moved instead of being all bunched up by the counter. So it was kind of nice to have all that space. So I felt good. But the girl that was going to make my, uh, make my, um, my, uh, my tacos, because I always like the tacos, the crunchy tacos there. So she had a mask on. Hold on a second. Let me grab a mask so I can demonstrate this. Hold on. I'll be right back. Let me grab a mask. So. So, okay. I'm back. So look. So she had a similar kind of mask like this, right? That goes over the ears. So usually a mask is worn like this. But the girl behind the counter who was going to make my food had her mask. She was wearing it like this so she could talk to me and i looked at her and i said oh uh, don't you want to pull up your mask and like maybe you know cover your nose because you're breathing over my food <laughs> i mean i told her that before she got started making it but i'm sorry yes you have a mask on but this does not really protect you or protect me if you're wearing it like this because i can see your top upper lip move and your nose is exposed Go figure. So another employee kind of switched places with her. It was one of those things like, you know, and I could tell the company had given them the masks because they had all uniform type masks, all of them. But you, if you're not going to wear it properly, then why wear it? You know, anyway, it was just kind of funny. But I did get to visit with my mom and it was, she looked great. And then I came home and did an assignment via the computer. I'm getting really good at these type of computer meetings and so on. And then walk the beast. And then just kind of checked on the news. Because tomorrow, officially, you know, this whole self-isolation, technically it's over. We're supposed to open just like 25%. Like some businesses can do like 25% capacity like movie theaters. I don't think I would want to sit in a movie theater right now. Where the air is circulating with all those people sitting around here for a couple of hours. Most movie theaters, in fact, I think every movie theater in 
Every movie theater, I think, in Dallas County decided not to open. They're going to wait till like July. Good for them. But today, unfortunately and sadly, our case numbers this week have been high. Uh, we've been kind of like hitting the record every day. And today we had a massive jump in um, diagnosed cases and more deaths. And so this week it will be, well, this week already, and we're not over the week yet, has now been the worst week since this whole thing started in Dallas County, and the week isn't even over. We technically have Friday and Saturday, so that's just going to add to it. But the jumps was like a 60%, 70% jump in cases and a big jump in mortality, and we're opening tomorrow. Um, and I was thinking, looking at the calendar, like two weeks ago it was Easter, and a lot of people disobeyed the rules on Easter. And I feel like this is like... You know, here we're almost two weeks later, and there's this jump in cases. So I'm thinking it probably ties in one to the other. So, yeah, unfortunately, we, we've been having this drumbeat in Dallas. And as I said, last week, it actually dropped a little bit, the daily amounts for the week. So we're kind of heading in the right direction. And then this week is like spike, a substantial spike. And we're opening businesses tomorrow. Ugh. Uh, uh. The upside is I say I might get more work, um, but, you know, people are actually excited about opening up, from what I hear. Not There's some people that are really excited, and then there's some people like me, actually the majority of people like me, because they did the survey, and it was like 60% or 60 60 or 70% of Dallas County residents were like, no, we shouldn't open it. We've had it somewhat under control. We've not, you know, had a pandemic here in Dallas. I mean, it's this, we've been keeping kind of a lid on it and it's not reaching the capacity of the hospitals, but uh, the intensive care units as of today um, had a big jump. We were running at about 20 to 30%. Um, Occupancy in the intensive care units, and now we're at 50, no, I'm sorry, 60 to 70% occupancy in the emergency rooms. And that's just like from one week to the next. So that means it's really spiking. Um, we'll see what happens. Cross my fingers. It'll be fine. It's just, if I, from what, talking to everybody, I know, including my mom, <clears throat> or just chatting online, with some people, everybody feels like we sort of have gotten a handle on it here in Dallas County, even though this week has been bad. <clears throat> but overall, it's not like other cities. And that we felt like we were going in the right direction for this to all of a sudden come to this abrupt halt. And almost everybody I talked to is like, you know, we could have waited a few more weeks. Just hang in there just to really conquer this. It's too late. We're opening up tomorrow. Governor's orders. <sighs> hair salons are not going to be open though. Though there's one lady who will probably end up getting arrested because she's gone against. She's been cited. And she's been fined, and she keeps opening up her hair salon. I don't know who would want to go there <clears throat> because it's just the thought of being with a hairdresser. You know, because usually if you're getting your haircut, it takes twenty to thirty minutes. There's a lot of contact, even if they're masked. You're so close to each other for that length of time. I just can't imagine. Uh, you know, I'll continue getting my hair long, let my hair grow long. It's funny because it was looking so awful and now it's starting to get to a long enough length. I mean, it's still thin on top, but I've got, a, I was like, I forgot my hair was kind of wavy. It actually is. And now it's long enough that I can sort of comb it and it's a little bit more manageable. So it's, I'm not looking as scraggly. Um, and I'm kind of digging the longer length now. Uh, the back I'd like to trim because my neck is getting kind of warm and I'm going to have a mullet at the rate we're going. <laughs> and that's never a great look. Never was. <clears throat> but I'm kind of enjoying a bit of the longer hair, so I may just keep that afterwards. But I don't have much else to report. That's the news. Just hanging in there. I did see the guy that propositioned me yesterday, again today, as I was driving to an assignment. I guess he's working the Kroger parking lot. He had a different outfit on today, but it was the same guy. Uh, he looked like he took a shower. So, um, so he looked cleaner. 
<laughs> but I guess he's getting business, working the parking lot at Kroger. I mean, because I saw him as I was driving. He was walking to the parking lot at Kroger, and I was driving down the street. It was like, I saw him. He didn't recognize me, but because obviously he's hitting on everybody, but he's going to get picked up and arrested, but so be it. But it's just kind of interesting. All right. I hope you have a good evening, or if you see this tomorrow during the day, have a great day. And uh, I'll keep you up to date to see what happens with our numbers here in Dallas, because it is a little scary, because that is a ju uh, the jump. It's like 179 cases, I and mean, we were doing like 87 or 90 a week ago, to all of a sudden be doing 187 cases in one day, uh, and then, you know, 131 cases. I mean, we're having big numbers all of a sudden, well into the hundreds. Whereas we were just hovering around the 100 mark before. Scary. Anyway, that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. And then if you want to be notified of all the videos, ring the bell. But yeah, subscribe and share this video with anybody you want. Uh, I mean, this is a chronicle of life with coronavirus. I'll see you soon. Bye.